Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Chris Schaff. He's the Barron County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Chris, I know this time of year mm -hmm. you're getting ready to go to mm -hmm. the North American. Mm -hmm. But for people who might not be familiar with the Livestock Exposition, can you explain a little bit about why it's such a big deal? Okay, so this is a big deal for a big deal because this is the 50th anniversary of the North American. Oh. So uh, the North American International Livestock Exposition, or what we call it, the, the North American, um, is taking place for the last 50 years up at the State Fairgrounds in Louisville. And it, Joanna, it truly is best of the best livestock from all over North America uh, come into Louisville. And no matter what your species is, uh, there's everything from, from dairy cows to llamas. So um, the, whatever your species is, uh, they're, they're, they're there. And it is an opportunity, it's a wonderful opportunity to see just, you know, pictures of perfection within those, within those uh, breeds as well. And it's, a, it's a real special time. It's a special time. People talk about coming to Louisville to show on the green shavings, and that's a, that's a big deal. And, you know, we're really fortunate in the state of oh Kentucky, gosh. and I think sometimes maybe we take that for granted that mm -hmm. we do have such a nice mm -hmm. exposition center, you know, for such shows as this. Right, right. I, I've been very fortunate and blessed to, to, to exhibit stock all over the eastern part of the United States, along with myself and my children. And, and, and trust me, this is nice that we have in Lovell. And, and, and folks can slip right up there. Uh, it's climate controlled. Uh, it's, it, it's very safe. Uh, you know, very controlled environment. So, you know, it is a, it is a nice place. And, and I, I think sometimes we do take it for granted. Yeah. And you mentioned like exhibiting there, but mm -hmm. also for the spectators, oh, yeah. it's a super nice facility to be able to go up there. But if, if I've never been before, where, what can I expect? The first thing is most of the shows are in Freedom Hall. So if you're ever been to Freedom Hall for a concert or uh, for a basketball game, imagine seeing a stock show there. So the spotlights are on, all the lights are on. What gets left out at the North American sometimes is all the good shopping. They have the world's largest, I think it goes by the world's largest country store, and it's a lot of uh, Western wear, a lot of Western um, decor for the, for, the, the, for the home. There's trailers. It, it's, there, there's a lot of good shopping there. And you know, a lot of times we don't have that big mega Western store, mm -hmm. and, but when you go there, you can find about in belts, yeah. leather, I mean, yeah. like anything yeah. you want, you can find oh, yeah. oh, at yeah. the North American. And that is part of your mm -hmm. entry. When you pay to go in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, to park, that is part of it. And yeah. you can go in and experience that as well. It's fairly inexpensive to go. Um, it is, uh, I think it's eight bucks a person plus the, uh, plus parking. Um, then I'll tell you what we have left out. We've left out the rodeo. And that's always fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I believe it's the Great Lakes region. Uh, it has their finals rodeo there. So these are these are professional cowboys. It's kind of kind of the minor league, but these are professional cowboys uh, that come in and and cowgirls and 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 do their thing. And so if you enjoy that, there's some good bull riding and that kind of thing right there in Freedom Hall. Great. There's not a bad seat in Freedom Hall. So. You know, that, that, that's really fantastic. So People can just like type into their favorite search engine, mm -hmm. the North American. Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll have all the list of all the shows, what species mm -hmm. will be there, when, and they have some educational things that go sure. on throughout the, the time there. Because it's a, it's not just a couple days, Chris. <laughs> no, my, my first hitch, I work with the dairy folks. And so the dairy, the dairy uh, is, is first and uh, then, the, then the beef is at the end. So. Uh, but like I said, you know, it, it, it is neat. Uh, the past couple years, Joanna, I've got to work with the with the miniature Hereford show. Aww. And, and they're you know, just cute little creatures. And so they're, uh, and, and, and they get to meet the exhibitors from all over, from all over North America. You know, you meet, and I like to talk, you know, we, farmers have a, I guess, a common ground that they can talk about. You can always start off with, how's the weather? <laughs> and did you have a good crop? Okay, all right. And it can go from there. And, and it's just that, it's a good experience. It really is. So give me the dates. Okay. November 3rd through the 16th. Like you said, Google it, figure out what you want to see. The rodeo is the 9th, 10th, and 11th. Okay. So it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday kind of deal. Mm -hmm. So ease up there and see that. Uh, there's junior shows, there's open shows. Um, and, uh, you know, you can also check it out live on the on the web too. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize they stream that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. All right. So take an opportunity to take advantage of something right here. Right. Um, appreciate the information, Chris. And if you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.